Hello friends, uh, this is your friendly neighborhood pediatrician, Dr. Aditya Bhatt and the answer to today's question is uh, ASD. ASD is, an, is not a component of uh, Tetralogy of Phthalate. Tetralogy of Phthalate uh, occurs in a sequence as in the first thing that usually occurs in a uh, Tetralogy of Phthalate is subvalvular infundibular stenosis uh, which varies according to the sympathetic tone and the second component that occurs due to outflow tract obstruction, right ventricular outflow tract obstruction is RVH because uh, the ventricle has to pump against a block pathway and uh, the third component that occurs is VSD because there is continuous flow of blood due to high pressures so you cannot build a dam while the river is flowing you have to stop the river and then only you can build a dam like that if the continuous high pressures are there and continuous blood is flowing there is uh, ventricular septal defect and which is usually non-restrictive VSD which uh, equalizes the pressure between the two ventricles initially and the fourth component is overriding of aorta. Now uh, let's uh, learn something about hyperspinotic spell. Hyperspinotic spell is usually occurs in a child that cries or passes stool or has excessive sympathetic activity which might cause infundibular spasm which increases the right ventricular outflow tract obstruction. Now due to increased right ventricular outflow tract obstruction there is increased pressure in right ventricular uh, side of the heart which causes uh, increased shunting from right to left. Now if there is increased shunting from left, right to left there is increased cyanotic blood going into the systemic circulation. Now due to that increased uh, deoxidated blood going into the systemic circulation there is increase in the cyanosis of the child. As you know tetralogy of phthalate is a cyanotic heart defect but when the child goes into hypersynotic spell there is increase in cyanosis of the child and uh, th there is uh, it, it used the usual exacerbating factors for the child is like early morning of passing of stools or excessive crying. Now the first uh, reaction of the mother to a crying child is taking the child and uh, patting the child. So first thing that you have to do in hypersynotic spell is give the child Nietzsche's position. Now that helps in two ways. First it decreases the preload to the heart and second it increases the systemic vascular uh, resistance as there is uh, pressure contraction of uh, constriction of uh, iliac arteries which increases the afterload and which in turn increases the left ventricular pressures which uh, uh, which decreases the shunting that occurs from right to left side other drugs that can be used are morphine methoxamine and phenylephrine and uh, the